Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel again in another puzzle haul. This one for August. I got a lot of new puzzles. Um, I also repurchased the puzzle I did in the time lapse because I have that whole collection going and it was missing a piece. So I have a box of new puzzles too that I ordered from Walmart and I will show you those at the end. But all these I'm going to show you in the beginning are my thrift store finds. Me and my husband went out just today and collected all these from, oh my God, I don't know, seven, eight stores. So this is what I found and I'm going to show you them the way that they come because a lot of people don't know that thrift stores tape the puzzles and how they come and so I figured I would untape a few and show you maybe we'll have a surprise maybe we won't I don't know but here we go okay now these are in no particular order these are just ones I got from the thrift store I did separate them. We only went to Goodwills or Desert Industries. So this one is from Goodwill. But this for the most part is how they come. I don't know if you could see it. There's tape all the way surrounding the box. And then they put a big sticker with the price tag. This one was $1.99. And I got this because I'm collecting these. But when you get them, I actually bought this tool off of Amazon. And I'll link it in the description below in case you want them. This is really good for getting underneath the tape. And then I use Goo Gone for any tape residue. And then I have my bags that I put the pieces in when I'm done. So I'm just going to take the tape off of this one box, I think, and I'll speed the time lapse up because you don't need to see me picking at it. Some boxes the tape comes off really pretty and other times it doesn't. And usually if I use this I can get these stickers off without ruining the box. But this one looks like it was sold several times because there's more tape on there than that. It all depends on how picky you are and which, how bad you want the puzzle. You don't know. I really like this one. I didn't have it. So I took a chance on it. Now it has the puzzle. Um, a nice poster in here see and there's junk on it and there is sometimes I just clean it all up it's a used puzzle but it still looks like it's probably got all the pieces in here because somebody at least took care of the insert in that so then I would pick these all out of here and put them in the bag and then dump out any dust and junk that's in there but so that's called a Lakeside Cabin. I thought that was really pretty. That's by Buffalo Games. It's 300 pieces. And then this is another one. I'm collecting these Days to Remember series. This is called Autumn Memories. And I think, I don't know if it's by that Daryl. It doesn't say. I don't know who it's by. I'd have to look it up online. But it's by Buffalo Games and it's 500 pieces. And it's a pretty puzzle. So I got that. Now this was $1.99 and the same with the other one. At Goodwill. Now I got this one at Goodwill too. And I never heard of this maker. It's by Corinthian. That's a thousand pieces. 
It's a nice barn scene. I thought I'd give it a try because I've never tried anything by them. And I got this one. Oh, I must have them mixed up because this one was by, is this Desert Industries or is this? Oh no, this was Goodwill, $1.99. This I must have got mixed up. Let's see. I don't know. That's the Deseret Industries. I got this one. It's a Dowdle puzzle, but it's an older one, I think. And it's brand new, still sealed. Thousand pieces. I got this for a dollar at Deseret Industries. Then I got this really nice Ravens burger. Again at Desert Industries for a dollar. This one doesn't say a name on it. This one is called Viva La Vinyl. I don't know if you can see that. And then I get this Raven's Burger, 500 pieces for $2 at Deseret Industries. This is called Greenhouse Mornings. And this I was super excited for because I collect Amy Stewart and I didn't have the Christmas one and I was going to get it in 2,000 pieces, but... I happened upon this 300 piece one and I thought, well, why not get it? And we looked at it because it was opened in the store. Oh, and I guess they did do it. I thought it was new, but it's not. But still, looks like all the pieces are there and I'll pay $1.50 for it. So that's nice. And then this one is 300 pieces times square it's called and it's by buffalo and i got this one for two dollars again at desert industries now this one i got at desert industries but it had already been sold once at savers because there's a saver sticker on here i paid a dollar fifty for this of course, you know, you take the chance that all the pieces are there. And these are just loose in the box. So we'll see when I put it together whether they're there or not. But a 2,000 piece Ravensburger puzzle for $1.50. <laughs> I'm not going to turn that down. And then I had gotten a Casterland puzzle previously and I haven't put them together but there was two more where are these from I see a sticker oh Desert Industries I got for three dollars it's a 1500 piece puzzle and it is I don't know what it's called Very pretty puzzle. It's got a whole bunch of puzzles showing on the back. Oh, I've seen that one before. That's cute. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, the French Riviera. It's right in front of my face on the front here. But that's just a beautiful puzzle. And then I got this one. Again, for $3 at Desert Industries. This is a caster land. It's called Hoot by David Gluch. I don't know if you can read that or not. Probably not. But it's G-A-L-C-H-U-T-T. -T. Again, 1,500 pieces. And then I was super excited to get this one because 
I don't own any puzzles by this Hey, Hey uh, Company, and I've heard so many good things about them. And so I grabbed this one. This one's two dollars at Deseret Industries, and this is says Edition Alexander von Humboldt. Red Champion, I think, is the name of the puzzle. But very nice. It's got pictures on the back of other puzzles. So I can't wait to give this one a go. And then I got this Springbok one. It's a nice Christmas one. My husband liked this one, so I figured oh, I'll give it a try. $2. Thousand piece puzzle. I got it at Desert Industries. And then I got this one, which is that Clementoni brand again. I've been eyeballing this one on their website, and this is the one that was like my favorite of what I was seeing of theirs. And I got this one for $1.50. It is still sealed in the bag. Nobody did it. Beautiful puzzle though. And this was sold once at Savers for 99 cents and I paid $1.50 for it. But it was a brand new puzzle so why not? Because these are expensive ones. Okay, now here's another. This is um, a Dowdle called Seattle. It's in one of the older boxes again. I didn't have this one. And I collect the Dowdle puzzles, so I grabbed this one right away. And I'm not sure. I paid $3.99 for this one at Goodwill. Goodwill by me has raised their prices on a lot of them, which really just surprised me because they were keeping up with Desert Industries, but now they don't seem to be doing that. And then I got, let's see, this is a Buffalo Games Charles Blaisaki puzzle called Pigeon Pails, Thousand Pieces, and I think I got this at Goodwill, yeah, $3.99 at Goodwill. And then I got this Northern American Songbirds Gathering of Friends by Buffalo Games. Got that for $1.99 at Goodwill. I still got to take the time to peel all these tape off and make them look pretty again. Now this I was really excited for because this is another brand. I only have one puzzle by them and I haven't done them yet. But I picked up two puzzles by Ibu and I've heard so many good things about them I cannot wait to try these this I paid $3.99 for but I don't think anybody's done it it's like sealed shut yet and it's called Vintage Butterflies very pretty and then I got this one and this one's called Coral Reef. I'm trying to see how much I paid for it. $1.99 for this one. And I don't think they did this one either. It looks still sealed. I don't understand why people buy puzzles and don't do them. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, this was another one I bought because I hadn't done any puzzles by them. And I paid $3.99 at Goodwill. And it's by this company called Pink Sky. I don't even know where that is. Let's see, what does it say? Argentino SC, South Carolina maybe? I don't know, but it's a very nice sturdy box, so I'm hoping the puzzle's very nice. But we'll see on that. And then, this one I paid $1.99 for. I only have one other puzzle by this company too. This An Anatolian. And um, I haven't put it together yet. So I don't know how these are. But 
I like to have two or three of a brand to give it a go to see if I really like them or not. And so if I want to do like a puzzle review, I can. But I try not to do puzzle reviews off of used puzzles unless I get them and they're sealed and this one's not. So, But it'll still give me a good idea what the puzzles are like. So that's it for the used puzzles that I got at the resale shop. Then I picked this up the other day. I'm going to make a video off of these. And I've seen people do these before. But they've always been the White Mountain brand. And I got this at Walmart. And this is Spin Master Puzzles. And I never heard of them. But I thought that these little cereal boxes would make for a good video. So I bought that to do that one day. And now on to what I got at Walmart. I haven't even opened it. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. Alright. Lots of packing materials. This is what I ordered. I wanted a new one. And for those of you who don't know, I, you know, Buffalo Games, I read it somewhere, and I don't remember if it was their website or another one, so I don't know if it's completely accurate, but what I read was when the pandemic hit, they got swamped, of course, like everybody else. So they took their production of the puzzles and had a whole bunch made in China. And the ones that were made in China used the stickers on the sides of the boxes and put the puzzle pieces in bags. And the ones made in the U.S. are like this one where they seal the box itself and the puzzle pieces are loose in there. So the one that I did before on my time lapse was the sticker kind and this one is not this is the other kind so I'm hoping this will have all the pieces now when I went to Walmart they had this one actually on sale for four I want to say 485 but shipping on it was going to be seven dollars and 98 cents unless you spent 35 dollars or more and then you got free shipping so it was kind of a no-brainer I ordered more puzzles so I checked the clearance, and this I never knew. If you type in the search engine, puzzle and clearance, all the clearance puzzles will come up. And so all these I spent like $5 on. So I got four more. And these I'm collecting too. This is the Country Life Series. Classic Summer Night. That's a brand new one. And then I collect this. I collect a lot. <laughs> this Kim Norland. I love her artwork. So I got a whole bunch of hers. And I didn't have this one. This is called Country Music. And I just love the birds and the flowers and everything. And then another artist I love. This Chuck Pinson, he does a lot of these like country scenes and beautiful houses and flowers and everything. He reminds me almost like a Thomas Kincaid type thing, but a little different. I mean, he has his own style, of course, but this is called Country Roads Take Me Home. And then the last puzzle I got to show you is by Terry Redlin. It's a thousand piece, and it's called Comforts of home and that would be it for all the puzzles okay that's it for all the puzzles I'm going to be taking off here um, there will be a listing of them all in the video description below so if you want to name them name of them they will be there also I'm going to make a flip through after I stop talking of all the images of all the puzzles that I showed you so you can get an up close picture and if you want to pause it you can see what they look like and then you can find them if you'd like them. So thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber I would love to have you. Talk to y'all later. Bye! There's
time I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Oh, hold me close Promise you won't let go I'm nothing without you I don't know what I would do without you You are the one I choose I wanna grow Still in love with the way that you smile